Welcome to another Building Bridges, and welcome to PowerPoint. <laughs> um, if you're just joining us, or this is the first episode that you have seen, um, Building Bridges is a series on what it looks like for us at the chamber to build one of these, to build a bridge, our magazine, our flagship piece. And so this episode, I'm just going to take you through PowerPoint, which is what we use to create the skeleton of the magazine. And so I'll, uh, I'll be scrolling through and you can see, I get a preview of what the content will be. Now, a disclaimer, we do not design in PowerPoint. Uh, that's all InDesign, we, the creative suite. But use, utilizing PowerPoint is a great way, pretty easy to lay out pagination, to see how left and right, uh, easily to move pages around. Um, and it's yeah pretty accessible. Um, and so we, yeah, let's hit it. Let's scroll through here and um, I'll just kind of give you, again, a sneak peek at what the May-June issue will be. As you can see right now, it's, um, or yeah, the, it's Military Appreciation. That's not going to be the title of it, but it's the military-themed issue. And so every our theme section, every issue has a, a major theme, and this one will be military. So as I start scrolling, you will just kind of see who or what is going to be filling each of these pages. Now, uh, as I have already started to scroll um, uh, preemptively, I think we're at a over 70 pages. And so that's a lot to get done in the next week or so. So I paused here. So Voices of Vision is an event that uh, it's a annual um, uh, probably our most well-known. Um, I, yeah, I, was, I would say our most well-known event. And this time we have uh, Chris Gardner. If you've seen the movie Pursuit of Happiness, he's going to be uh, here in uh, Fargo. And so this will be a page devoted to that. And so we uh, hired a photographer, our go-to guy, Dennis, from 5 Foot 20 Design Lounge. I can't recommend him high enough. Uh, great guy, great photographer. So he'll be there taking photos, and this will um, eventually populate this, this two-page spread. Uh, as we keep going, we see here's the military. So this is the start of our military section. Uh, and you can see... Again, purposefully going pretty quick, but you can see the content of each of these pages, and a lot of work has gone into this, from Tyler and Hannah reaching out for those for articles, for content, editing those after they get the content. Uh, and then once we get to here, you'll see these larger, where it says Inform, um, these are the ads. Uh, saved spots for ad placement. So uh, I know where to place these ads and to make sure that all of the work that the engagement team has done to work with our advertisers to make sure they have proper placement, that they that people know where they're going to be in the magazine to make sure we get everybody in there. Um, our foundation, uh, the Chamber Foundation, has a couple spreads. Um, up, upcoming events, uh, the experience, engage, and enjoy. Uh, you get some more advertisements, advertisements, and uh, public policy. So you can see just the gamut that the chamber has their fingers in, that the the amount of content that, um, and hopefully influence that we get to have in promoting the Fargo Moorhead West Fargo area and. Hopefully we are a great asset to this community. And the Bridge Magazine is a great way to, to showcase that. And uh, leadership, so upcoming leaders, uh, we get to showcase what they have done. And it's so fun to be at least in the lives of others, even if it's just on a little, uh, just a, a surface level, but you get to see and you get to promote um, them and their journeys, their careers. But 
Yeah, ribbon cuttings for the new uh, new businesses in the areas, new hires and promotions, new members. Um, there is just so much that the chamber is involved in, and the bridge is a, an excellent resource to see, learn about the community, and all that the chamber does, at least on a, on a scratching the surface bit. So there you go with a very quick synopsis of the skeleton, uh, an overview, of an MRI. MRIs do skeletons? Well, it does now. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess that's an x-ray. Good grief. But anyway, as uh, future videos will, will, uh, will be coming out, it'll be more meat on the skeleton. You'll get to see more meat on the bones. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, comments, criticisms, let me know. Let me know. So thanks for joining me.